What's going on guys, and welcome back to my second series uh, preview of the day. So now we have Colorado and St. Louis. Colorado finishing first in the Central this season, and St. Louis finishing third. Colorado once again with the higher seed. These teams last met in 2021, where Colorado swept St. Louis four games to none. I think St. Louis is much better this time around, as they've just kind of just gotten beefier. They took Brandon Saad from Colorado, so we'll see how... If, if there's any sort of tension, well, there's going to be tension. It's Colorado and St. Louis. So Colorado to get here defeated Nashville in a sweep four games to none. St. Louis a bit harder, but defeated Minnesota in a pretty good series four games to two. These uh, their meetings this season were on October 16th, 2021, where St. Louis won five to three. On October 28th, 2021, where St. Louis or Colorado won four to three. Then on April 26, 2022, where Colorado won 5-3. So pretty close during the regular season. Factors for both teams. Colorado, it's got to be offense and health, as they are healthier than St. Louis. And offense, they just have the potent star power. Could add that star power to the list. Uh, for St. Louis, got to be depth and goaltending. St. Louis is, just, I think, more better depth than Colorado. Um, Colorado, if you go farther down, they got some, they've got some pretty good lines. But I think St. Louis's third line is one of the best in the league. Colorado's is not as potent. Uh, in goaltending, easily, uh, it's going to be Bennington versus Kemper. It's going to be a very good series. Bennington was un unbeatable against when he was in Minis when he played Minnesota and came in for Billy Huso. Uh, Darcy Kemper is going to have to play his best, and if he can't do it, Pavel Frenzos is also got to be at his best. Uh, key players for both teams. For Colorado, it's Kale McCarr. Three goals, seven assists, ten points in four games. Fantastic series out of Kale McCarr against Nashville. McKinnon, five goals, one assist, six points. Landeskog, three goals, three assists, six points. And Devin Tays, three goals, two assists, five points. For St. Louis, you have David Perron, five goals, four assists, nine points, as he seems to only get better with age, like Joe Pavelski. Ryan O'Reilly, five goals, three assists, eight points. And then Tarasenko, five goals, one assist, six points. Um, obviously, there's going to be players that want to make a bigger impact. For Colorado, it's going to be Rantanen, who's going to want to have a bit better, bigger impact. Uh, only had five assists in the first round, no goals. Um, Nazem Kadri as well. Um, and then for Colorado, it's probably going to be more around Brandon Saad. Um, uh, if Tory Krug, if he plays, Justin Falk. Um, I'm trying to think of their other dynamic players. Um, Eh, no, not, yeah, no, but um, yeah, and injuries. Colorado had li listed has none as of right now, and the big ones for St. Louis are Tory Krug and Marcus Scandella, two um good defense, two good defensemen, and missing those is going to hurt St. Louis. But if they can return during the series, it could be a big morale booster for St. Louis. We'll see for game one tonight who's dressed and who's not. If there's any other issues, but yeah, that's really all I have for you guys in this one. Tell me down below who you think is going to win this series. I personally have Colorado in uh, Colorado winning in six uh, after I've edited this because St. Louis, I obviously beat Minnesota, and that was the one issue I had with this, so I'd obviously work around that. But I think I'd have Colorado winning the series. Um, now that I think about it, I could have put experience as a factor for St. Louis since they've won the Cup in 2019. And um, But... And I could have put that for Tampa as well in the last one, but I didn't. Well, that's unfortunate. But that's the past, as now we look toward the future, as this series starts later tonight. It's the second game of tonight. The next the next two videos will be also series previews for uh, the Battle of Alberta will be the second one, and then Rangers Carolina, that's the other one. We'll see how that goes tomorrow, but other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. As I said previously, leave a comment down below. Thank you all guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.